And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Airport CEO. And after a metric ton of construction and a little tweaking here and there, I've got the new uh, airport section here uh, pretty much ready for the details. Like we've got the broad strokes done, but it's the details that we're missing. So I'm trying to color code everything. So this is going to be uh, the A terminal. Uh, this is going to be the B terminal. And this down here is going to be the C terminal. And as you can see, I've colored the jetways and I'm trying to trying to be fancy with it a little bit. Uh, okay, so one thing I want to do is pause it while I do this. I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal with the hitches that come with saving. So the first thing we're going to need is boarding desks for all of these. And I want to try to keep a good system going here. So distance of two. Like that. And there. There. Oh, no, that's not right. Put that there and there why why when I when I remove that I want it to remove all of the things even the staff zone okay now let's go down to B terminal and do the same thing uh, boarding desks yes Okay, and now these down here, I gotta go down a floor. And let's take zones away, let's take rooms away. So we want small boarding desks. We don't need the super big ones for these small terminals just because there's not as many passengers. I mean, at most you're looking at 12 or 13 passengers, which is nothing in the grand scheme of things. here and finally there uh, then we want some seating some gate seating so I think uh, one on each side I mean one of these is plenty for these small terminals so let's do this side and this side and this side and this side and we have one straggler put it on this side nope Okay, and then up here, these, oh, you gotta go up a level. These can supply a lot, these can have a lot more passengers. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, something like that. One, two, three. Looks pretty good. And then this guy over here is going to be kind of an odd one out. Let's go one, two, three, like that. Should be enough seating around I mean they, they can they can find their own seats I mean that's they they tend to not sit like at their gate but near their gate which is weird
Then I'll color code these once they're built. One, two, three. I don't think we need. Oh, let's do four. Each one, each seating is is twenty people. So twenty, forty, sixty. Oh, I made a mistake right here, as you can see. Okay. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, that's 160 people that can fit around that. That's most likely plenty. And then this little shenanigans back in here. Did I do three on that side or four? I did three, okay. That works. One, two. So I want to leave the center of the terminals. Um, maybe, maybe for bathrooms or small shops of some kind. Something like that. That leaves, you know, a good amount of space in in the middle here. At least two squares worth for bathrooms or or what have you. And then we have this whole long terminal here that doesn't have anything um, in it. So you can definitely do shops and stuff down here. But that's looking pretty good there. The seating seating looks pretty good. Uh, and now we want to have them construct all that because uh, we need to start linking stuff up. The other things we're going to want are s stuff for baggage. Now, baggage is going to be a little, little wonky. So we're going to have a baggage one over here. And this... Um, let's... Is that... Okay, I was like, is that the wrong road? I build all that road and it's not the right one. And we're going to have one over here for this bank of terminals. And we're going to have one up here for this bank of terminals. Okay, that's three baggage bays that we're going to need uh, to link up somehow. Now, if we look at our zones really quick. So this is the main terminal. It's underground. If we look at this, you can see we've got the security going in. We have uh, stairs and stuff going up, and then we have all staff zone back in here. So passengers should always go up to up to you know the jet or the terminals here, and uh, and then there's a way down. <clears throat> down this way, there's a way down, and that goes down here into the security exits and down in here. This is where our baggage claim area is going to be right in here. Um, and we're going to need three zones for those because each baggage bay needs its own zone. Um, so even though they're all going to get hooked into one line, they do need their own zones. Okay. Next up, uh, let's see. Well, these guys are all... It's like uh, pretty much building everything that I needed to build. <clears throat> The, let's see, the staff zone, we're going to have, uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? I've got a way to get through security here. I do need a way to get, once they're on this level, I need a way to come up into security so the the the, uh, the boarding peoples can come up and work the desks. So I think what I'm going to do is carve out a little space here. And then we're going to have a stairway or an escalator. We're going to tuck this back in here. This is going to be staff only. See, it can't cross different zones. So we need to mark this as secure. 
like that. So now I can now it's not technically crossing zones. Uh, let's dial this down like here. Okay. So up here, let's turn the zones on again. We're gonna want this to be staff only. Uh, and then do we want we probably want walls around it, I'm guessing. Let's do I'm gonna go out to here. Do that and then do the same down here. Now we're going to want a little bit of extra security. And then we're going to want a security station. A small one. We don't need a super big one. Um, let's do... We're going to need a security exit too. So let's do security. And then security small something like this because we need a security exit as well oh that's such a huge so huge um okay we're gonna need another layer of security around here okay that is good there. Let's do security in there. Something like that. We'll wrap that up and uh, allow for staff to quickly get up. Uh, up here towards uh, this little area so this needs to be marked as staff and then let's just do a large door here cover that area up so that is then dedicated to staff which is what we're going for okay now let's see I'll turn the zones off really quick what seats are available to color Okay, so this this is going to be C concourse. This is going to be green. There's the lag spike for auto saving. So we can color code the benches and say, "Hey, this is this is for everybody who needs needs seating there." And then up here, I think this was blue. No, this was red. So all of these can be red. And these haven't been built up here yet. Take it's taking they're taking their sweet time, that's for sure. Uh, let's go make sure these are all linked up. Uh, we're going to turn on, well, we need to connect this up here. Oh, come on. the tedious part of the job here sometimes they connect automatically like the medium stands tend to connect automatically so those are all connected let's go up here yeah see this one's connected here this one's connected here yeah medium stands tend to find find their stands pretty easily but the the small ones have a have a harder time 
Uh, okay, those are the rest of those are colorable. So let's this this map now. When I load it, when I have to load it or reload it, map takes about five minutes to load in, in the, for the game to start. All right, so there we're gonna shut this down for now. We can build a little queue. Why not? No, nothing. No, won't hurt anything. I have no idea if it's absolutely positively required, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it anyway. I've also got one out here for because this is all staff zone back here. I think this is where our baggage sorting is gonna go. Baggage sorting here, and. Uh, then it'll branch off into all the different places. It's ba the baggage system is going to be one of the more gnarly systems that we're going to need. But we have another level of basement that we can go ahead and and use. I want to be I want to be careful though, because I'm going to need to route some roads here and there, and I'm going to need the return as well. So that is going to be tough. Uh, zones and we have we have a few stuck contractors that just I've, I've even reloaded the game to try to get them to work and and they don't seem to be going anywhere okay so how about oh these guys are building this baggage bay good I like to see that there it is okay so if we turn on commercial flights oh the boarding desks aren't aren't all done okay see all these boarding desks find their find their way it's just it's wise to double check them just in case but they usually do a pretty good job okay so the benches up here are you building are you building the boarding desk let's uh let's Add a little zoom to their step here. It's a long way to travel. All the way back down here. Oh, what are you... What are you guys... Fluid supply. Are you trying to get... This is turned off. Why are you trying to get up here? <clears throat> that's one of the things is there there's no path to to that area yet yeah yeah I know okay this is mainly done you can kind of double check to see like nine objects so we're, we're getting there let's go up and start color coding all these. These should be a darker blue. Yep. Getting those final little bits and pieces. Where where is this guy going? Oh. He was coming to help, but the guy already finished, so Can we get this boarding desk? That's the last, the last thing I need here. Can we get that done? And oh, he had enough time to pound one nail, and that was it. Oh, this guy must be the the deliverer of the boarding desk. Okay, so the thing that we're gonna want, we need to m turn on commercial flights. the The gate is still off. So no flights will be scheduled for this, um, and the runways should automatically connect to the stands um, because the taxiways are all done. So you can see the taxiways here. <clears throat> okay. Still, still, where's the guy? Who's, who's 
finishing my boarding desk. Oh, do we have somebody on the way? I really hate this, like... Oh, and it just finished, like, magically. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna slow it down again. So, if we turn on commercial, it's gonna look for baggage. And it already sees the, the security. So it, it automatically detects that those are the security stations. So we're good on that. But it's the baggage that we need now. So baggage to this one. Commercial. Baggage to here. And commercial. Commercial. Come on. There we go. And now these, we go to commercial. Baggage will go down to here. And it just allows them to split the jobs and stuff. And the baggage will automatically go where it's where it's needed. We can we can set that up. Uh, we'll be setting that up soon. The baggage system alone is going to be very complex. And I'm hoping it's not game breaking. I've already reported a bug. The baggage carts tend to get stuck on the small stands, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I don't have enough of them, or what? Baggage, 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 baggage. Okay, these ones commercial flights baggage needs to go down to here commercial baggage commercial I'm I'm glad you only have to do this process once Okay, now these, a little bit further away. And I did let the game, if you notice I've got, you know, six million dollars. I, I did, you know, after, after recording the previous last episode, I did let the game run like all night. I let it go and went to bed and got up the next day and there was actually nine million uh, in there, but I've I've since spent quite a bit. Okay, baggage linkups are all done. Um, of course, the the baggage itself is not not nearly all done, but uh, now we got to do the check-in desks and some of the miscellaneous stuff for the terminal. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do it because we need a lot of stands or a lot of check-in desks uh, for all of these because the check-in desks you have to link them to a baggage bay and so you have to do these in in banks of okay I want these check-in stands you know X number of check-in stands for all of these and we're gonna need quite a few and then all of the check-in stands have to go through, you know, and and do the baggage thing. So there's there's that fun fun time. Uh, so yeah, we will tackle that next episode. And I thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.